Good morning. It is Monday, April Fool's Day. <laughs> so happy April Fool's to everyone out there and hopefully you don't have too many tricks played on you today. <laughs> but let's see what we have here. Let me grab the cards and we'll do a ruffle shuffle here and see what we get for the day. What kind of pointers are there for us today? Okay. As you know, yesterday I read an excerpt from my manuscript, <laughs> Song of the Butterfly, Finding the Freedom Within, and somebody asked to buy the book. They said they look for it and can't find it on Amazon. Well, it's not for sale. Um, it hasn't been published. Um, why hasn't it been published? Because I wrote the book, but I am not good and now on how to um, how to set it up. When you send something to the publisher, you have to have all these things set up specifically and I'm I don't know how to do that okay so that's why the book has been sitting here <coughs> excuse me for many long years and has not been published <laughs> it's ready to go but uh, yeah no I don't know how to set the site up to get it published okay that's the long and short of it. So that's why it's still here as a manuscript and um, hasn't been published yet. Do I think it's beneficial for people? Yeah, I think it is beneficial for some people. Some people might get uh, might get something from it because everything is broken down into subject, subject matter. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, first card out was music, harmony. Okay, second card out was choices that's nice i haven't seen that one before it's the first time this card has come up what a nice image i like that all the choices are proceeding out from her into the universe to manifest choices next card we have is completion and i'll read that in all of that in just a second let's get the last two cards out and see what they say Velcro the Magnificent, what are you doing? <laughs> Say, just being my Velcro self. <laughs> just being my Velcro self. Next is Dragonfly Magic. Dragonfly Magic. Let's get the last card. Last card is love. Love. So let's put this all together. Let's start here with completion. And let me read that for you. It's final attainment, victory, a crescendo, job well done 
perfection, peak performance, and prudence. If you're going to get to completion, yes, you must have prudence along the way. You have to do your best job possible in every moment if you want to have the victory. So important to be harmonious. Even picking music that's harmonious, that's got a flow, that's not jarring, you know. There might be a place for this jarring music if it's something that you are um, trying to break through or something that you are encountering that you want to go beyond. Then I could see maybe for a time you might have that jarring type of effect. Um, okay. Next we have the choices. Choices are so important. No matter what choice you make, you're going to learn something from it. Okay. That's why when people come to me and say, Guruji, Guruji, what should I do? What should I do? I tell them, this is your life. It is not my life. You have to live with the consequences of your actions. So don't come and ask me. This is not a path where I'm directing your every moment. <laughs> okay? You have to live your life. You have to learn your lessons. So only you can make those choices in your life. And again, no matter what choice you learn, even if it's a bad choice, you'll find out what not to do. Okay, you'll learn a hard lesson if you make a bad choice. Okay, because there is karma. Okay, it's people that make these bad choices, they decide to steal or rob or do something nefarious. It's going to come back on them. I don't know how many times they have to have that experience to get that lesson that this is not a viable thing to do in the end. <laughs> you know, but if you want to do the crime, and then you got to be ready to do the time and spend your time in prison. But so many people imprison themselves daily by their actions in their mind. They're in the prison of their mind. Okay? because of the various actions that they do, okay? So keep your actions above board, something that's not going to come back on you. Make beneficial choices. I really love that card. That's really a beautiful card. Great image, okay? Next we have dragonfly magic, okay? It's almost magical the way that it works. You know, once you get to the end point and you see how everything was constructed and held into place by mind, you understand quantum, how quantum works. What is quantum? Okay. That again, the only thing one needs freedom from is their own mistaken notions and things they've clung to and things they've feared, things they're running from. Okay. And the magic is when you change your outlook, you change your direction, you change the energy that you have that you're putting out, the rest of the things magically change as well. It's like at the end of the path, it's the great, you know, the jokes revealed basically is what it feels like. <laughs> you look everywhere. I went from here to India to get the truth and it's always right where you're at, wherever you're at in every second, okay? But you think it's somewhere far away and you've got to go there and it's, you know, you go through all, jump through all these hoops and you find out you couldn't have gotten away from it if you tried. Okay. So it's like, you know, I could have had a V8. Oh my God. It was right here all along. Oh my God. <laughs> 
So it's like, you know, in the moment of realization, everything changes and nothing's changed. Okay, you open your eyes and phenomenal world is still going the same as it was. But in that second beyond eternity, that second, everything has changed. Your whole universe has changed. Everything that you thought and you knew to be true, you were so convinced of, <laughs> is gone at an end. Never was. <laughs> okay. The ego you were so fighting against or trying to confirm or affirm or, or sit there and try to um, protect, you find out it never was. Okay. The only reality is that pristine is. And the rest of it was a show, a soap opera, a film that gets cut. Now where's the film? Okay. <laughs> so when this happens, it's not that the external world is changing. It's the consciousness that changes. And one goes from being on this hamster wheel that's spinning all the time, spinning, to all of a sudden you've gone from this to this. Everything from this to this. This is kind of the path. You go from this, where everything is separate, to the feeling where everything has a connection. That's oneness. That's what you get from most spiritual teachers. Oneness it goes from this to this. In realization, it goes from this to this. Okay, again, goes from this to this, this. Still, silent. The midst of action is inaction. The midst of sound is silence. Non-dual, non-dual, non-dual. Okay. Major change. And then one understands love. Love is love. I'm talking about not that um, externalized, what people call love that's more out of desire and want and wanting to fill a hole. I'm not talking about that clinging, this passionate clinging and, you know, that needs to have a hole looking for something to fill itself with to stop that gap. I'm talking about love, which just simply is fulfilled whole as it is. Love of life. <clears throat> love of nature, love of the beauty of the planet, how it functions when you understand and you know that underneath of it all is that singular pregnant void, which then goes through Shakti. Shakti is like the prism and then it subdivides subdivides into these beautiful colors and beautiful manifestation. Okay. From the lowest vibration to the highest vibration. And depending on the vibration, it shows how much it's solid or how ethereal it is. Vibration holds the color, holds the, everything is based on vibration holding this energy. Okay. So let's go through this again. If we want to get to 
completion. Okay, and it is possible to get to completion knowing. And it could be completion from minor, from macro to micro, micro to macro. Okay, in the journey, you have so many little completions along the way, steps, steps that are taken until one finally gets to that final falling away. Okay, it's done through harmony. Music, vibration, harmony. Okay. Choices. Opening oneself up to the magic and finding love in the end. So I'm going to leave this here. I hope you've enjoyed the talk of the morning. And I hope that everyone is having a great journey through the infinite to the infinite through this planet through the realm of Shakti to that non-dual realm of infinite potential. Have a great day. Happy April 1st. No, this is not an April Fool's joke. <laughs> this is the actual journey being laid out step by step by step by step by step. Okay. Things that I give you here are things just to take in, sit with, contemplate, feel. Okay. Get into alignment with as much as you can in your journey wherever you are at in this moment to continue to move you forward. That's what gurus are there to do. Guru means weighty with knowledge. Weighty with knowledge. It is someone, supposedly, <laughs> we have a lot of quote unquote gurus out there, which are unfortunate con men, full of themselves, full of their ego driven things that sit on thrones and make light shows and you know, trying to show, look what I can do, magic tricks, okay, that befool people and they're just out for money and fame and that stuff. No, real, genuine gurus you will not find sitting in thrones, okay, selling, selling spirituality as a commodity, doesn't work that way. So I'm going to leave this here. Have a great April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day and have a wonderful journey. Aho and namaste.